Let's learn about the force of friction. By the end of this digital lesson, you should be able to discuss ways of increasing friction. You should also be able to discuss the disadvantages of friction. How can we increase friction? Friction can be increased by making the surfaces of objects rough. When making tires, patterns are cut into the rubber surface of the tires. The patterns are known as treads. Treads increase friction between the tires and the road surface. With our treads, vehicles and cycles could easily skid or cause accidents. Shoe soles are fitted with different patterns or treads. The pattern helps to increase friction between the shoes and the ground. Footballers and athletes use shoes that have spikes. The spikes increase friction which helps the shoes to have a good grip of the ground. Goalkeepers wear gloves to increase friction and their ability to hold the ball firmly. The handles of bicycles, wheelbarrows and steering wheels of cars are fitted with a rough material. This helps to increase friction and help the user to get a firm grip of the handles or steering wheel. Motorbike riders wear gloves to increase friction and their ability to hold the handles firmly. What are the disadvantages of friction? Wear and tear. Friction causes wearing out of objects and materials. When surfaces rub against each other, small bits of them are broken off. Pieces of chalk decrease in size with time. Friction between the chalk and the chalkboard causes the wearing out of chalk. You have to sharpen your pencil often as the tip gets worn out with use. Your eraser gets worn out with time as a result of friction. These activities show that friction causes wear and tear of objects. Wear and tear of shoes. Our feet keep rubbing against the inside of our shoes and socks. The soles of our shoes also keep rubbing against the ground. As time goes on, this friction causes damage to the shoes and the socks. Wear and tear in clothes. Our clothes rub against objects such as chairs and vehicle seats. They also rub against our bodies. Friction causes them to wear out and get torn. The areas of garments that are commonly affected by friction are the elbows and the seat of dresses and shorts. It is common to see garments with patches on these areas. Wear and tear of machines. Friction in moving parts of machines and motor vehicles causes the wearing out of some parts. Such parts require constant repair or replacement. Friction causes energy wastage and making work difficult. Friction can make work very difficult to do, or even impossible. This happens when you try to move a heavy object or load over a rough surface. A lot of energy is also wasted as you try to overcome the force of friction. Friction causes noise. When two parts in a machine rub against each other, the friction between them produces noise. The noise may sometimes be very loud and irritating, disturbing the people nearby, especially those working with the machine. It can also affect their hearing if their ears are not protected from the loud noise. The hinges of doors also sometimes make an irritating noise. Try this at home. You will need a wheelbarrow loaded with soil or sand, wet ground, wood shavings, sawdust, coffee husks, dry grass, and a slightly sloping area in the school compound. It is best to try this activity during the wet season, when the ground is slippery. Try to push the loaded wheelbarrow over the slippery ground. Is it easy? Now spread either the wood shavings, sawdust, coffee husks or dry grass on the slippery ground. Push the loaded wheelbarrow over the surface again. Is it easy? Explain your observations. You will observe that it is not easy to push the loaded wheelbarrow over the slippery ground. The wood shavings, sawdust, coffee husks or the dry grass increase the friction between the wheelbarrow and the surface thus making movement easy.